Uh, today I'm going to show you my 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser. So as you can see, I've taken the motor out, I've taken the old 2H out, which originally come in these, which is a four litre, six cylinder straight, non-turbo. And we're gonna replace it with a little bit, something a little bit better, which I'll show you guys later. And yeah, we'll go have a look around. So obviously it's looking pretty shiny. I've um, given it a full respray in the, the factory color, which is probably my favorite color of the cruisers. That's why I bought this specifically with the color I wanted. And um, yeah, so just giving it a quick neaten up and make it look reasonable along with the the white 40 series roof i decided to add to that give it a bit of an old look to it make it look to be cooler a bit different than everyone else's and continuing with the paint too i've done the um chassis i've redone that and painted it all up in rust guard epoxy black which is just protects it and stops the rust and everything in the future and i've got the efs three inch springs with along with the um two inch extended shackles which should give it like three and a half inch lift but um it's looking pretty high it's not meant to look like that it's just because the motor's out and uh, no bull bar or anything obviously the shackle angle is meant to be a bit nicer then we just got the federal courageous i think it's pronounced tires 33 inches to 285 mud terrain they're pretty cheap so i thought i'd just try them out i've heard good things about them so not much going on in the interior at the moment, just been cleaning out 30 years worth of rubbish and trying to bring it into the future a bit with the sound deadening, because obviously if you drive 75, you know it's not very nice in the wind and everything. But um, I'll see how that goes and I'll let you know if that's any good. And I've just put new mats in, also might help with the sound and everything. They're a bit thicker than the original ones and they just look a bit nicer, cleaner. And I've just done little bits and pieces like the air blower, sort of trucky style. So I'll put that in there because I had to run the line anyway for the um, air horn, which just runs up onto the roof on just a truck horn, just to make it a bit louder. So looking pretty average in the back at the moment, not much going on, but we've got big plans for this, you know, sort of full tray set up for camping, camping and touring stuff. So practically just going for an easy setup, like a caravan, your pull out kitchen and all that sort of stuff. We'll get into that later, but really it's just going to be custom made tray, I'll be doing just water tanks, diesel tanks up the front, some air compressor tanks underneath and then just some storage and a canopy sort of thing which you'll find out in the future I'll show you, this won't give away too much at the moment but um, yeah just trying to make it as easy as possible to set up and camp and do all that sort of stuff while also having sort of the tools all there ready to go for if anything happens because being a 30 year old car you never know what's going to go wrong and you want to always be ready ready to go for any problems or anything so i've just all the tools spare parts story so that's all i got planned at the moment if you're um, interested just keep following along and i'll run you through a bunch of stuff show you how to do things show you what's coming up and yeah hopefully i'll keep you all entertained